Hi, in this video I'm going to share with you my techniques for building a ultimatum theme from scratch using the ultimatum theme framework. So let's get started. Okay, now in a previous video I talked about how simple it was to put in a slideshow. So I just want to share with you, once you install the ultimatum um, framework to your WordPress site here, okay, basically we're going to ignore these settings right now. I'm just going to just go with my default settings here to just keep it so simple. It's frighteningly simple. Now, of course, if you want more information about this course, I will apply, I will assign and share with you a coupon discount that you can log on to my course at udemy.com at the end of this video training. Okay, so here's my objectives here. The way that Udemy ultimately works here is basically it's template based. So if I click templates based on these choices, I already have an existing template that we talked about in a previous video about putting in a slideshow. Now, let's say as an example that I want to make a brand new template from scratch. So I'm going to create a template called my new 960 template. And we'll make it 960 pixels wide, 20 pixels of margin space, and we're going to make it responsive and based on these choices. I'm going to click save. Now important step here, what I need to do down here, I'm going to make this new template, my new 960 template, my default template. So based on these choices here, we're going to click submit. Now it's warning you to say that we don't have a layout for this particular template, which is true because we just created it. So how could we? So based on these choices, we're going to come down here to layout and click layout. All right, now I'm going to share with you a couple different techniques here. Notice that there's no layout available because I haven't created one, so it's not an option for me over here. So the types of layouts that we can create, we can create a partial layout or a full layout. What I want to share with you is we're going to build a header for our layout and a footer for our layout. This way I can contain those footers and headers on subsequent pages. I don't have to reinvent the wheel here. So if you want to keep your header consistent and your footer information consistent, how you do that is with a partial layout. Okay, so let's just call this one main header. And this will be a partial layout. I'm going to hit save. Now, again, there's nothing on the page because I haven't inserted any rows. So based on these choices, our main header, which again is going to be our partial layout because I want it to appear page after page after page after page. So I could have the contents, the layout of the contents be different, but the header I want to keep consistent and the footer I want to keep consistent. So based on these choices, I simply click insert row. Okay, then I want to insert a simple 100% width responsive design header for our page and I click insert and it puts that right here. Now there's no content for this header so I have a couple of choices. I could do my super title ultimatum but I'm going to keep this very very simple. I'm just going to down here to text. I'm going to drag the text widget right up to here. Okay and I'm just going to put you know mysite.com and perhaps we'll put some information down here. We'll just keep this simple. MySite.com and we'll put some search engine stuff. Let's say we're in the wholesale coffee business and if I learn how to spell wholesale that'd be a good thing. H O wholesale coffee. Hey nobody said this was a typing class and free shipping which is a good thing to put into the title of a page for search engine purposes. So if I save that and go and I save my layout, that's now part of my header. Okay, now based on these choices, we're going to go back to layout screen. And right now we have a partial layout called main header. We're going to create another layout called main footer because you could have secondary footers and secondary headers. I just want to share that concept with you. Okay, so we're going to make this a partial layout. And I'm going to save that. Then I have nothing on the layout here. So I'm going to go to insert row. And we'll do exactly what we just did a second ago. 
100% wide. Now we can make our footer broken up into different columns, etc., etc. I'm just going to keep this very simple and insert that. And again, we'll simply just put basic text up here. So I'm going to take my text box, drag it up to here, and we'll just do something like Option key G, Alt key G for Windows. We're going to create the copyright symbol 2012 mysite.com. Now, if in fact you wanted to apply CSS to this, you can do that by coming right here. We'll talk about that in a subsequent video and of course as part of my full course on udemy.com. So let's save the layout and go back to our layout screen. Okay, so based on these choices that we did here, we have two partial layouts, but we don't have a full layout for this particular template that we just created. So how do I do that? Well, we're going to come here and let's just call this non main content 960. So that'll be the name for our layout, main content 960 pixels wide. It's going to be a full layout and we're going to hit save. Okay. Now here's the super cool part. Again, we have no content until we start inserting rows. Now, one of my favorite rows to insert for the main content, I'm a big AdSense person. If you want to make money with your site, use AdSense. So what I'm going to do here to the right here, actually to the left here, I want to put a skyscraper ad here that's going to take up this entire height right here. So based on these choices, I'm going to pick this particular layout and I'm going to insert that. Okay, so now I have my layout all set to go. Now I can put additional layouts in here, I'm sorry, additional rows, columns, etc., etc. But I just want to share with you the concept of keeping this simple. Now, the reason we built the partial layout, because I can now take the main header and put that above my body copy. And I can take the footer and drag it over to my layout below. Right there. Okay, save the layout. Now, very important step here. If I go ahead and preview the page by clicking right here and refreshing the page, what we're going to see is you need to have at least one layout. Well, let's understand something. Okay, I have a layout, so why is it telling me this? I do have a layout. I just created the layout. So what I need to do is go back to my layout screen and I need to save this main 960 layout. Once I save that layout and I go back to my page and I refresh, you will see that you now have content. So this is the header information. This is the footer information. Now, of course, in the ultimatum theme, we can affect the CSS. We can basically make it the full width, give it background color, repeating background, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I just want to get your feet wet with understanding how simple, simple, simple this is to do. So if I go back to my layout settings, so again, I need to save that new default setting because you could have multiple, multiple layouts for your page. So in this particular case, I have a 960 main content default layout. Okay, so based on these choices, here's what I want to do. I'm going to go back to that again. And I already have my sample post set up from the page itself. So let's say I want to put a sample post right up here, right there. So what I can do is simply grab WordPress default loop. And based on these choices, what do you want to do? Well, in this particular case, I don't want to see the image. Okay. So this is just going to take my main post, not pages, post and loop it. Show placeholder image off. And I'm going to hit save. Okay, so I can collapse this again. So what happens here, this is right here. This is the layout plus the header on top plus the footer on the bottom. So this is going to show nothing right now. Nothing's going to appear here because I don't have any content. But I can put video here, a Twitter account, etc., etc. It's literally just drop and drag it right in there, then fill in the fill in information. So if I click right here and I refresh, there is my content. That's just the post, the whole world post that comes with the program. Now if I click here, 
that goes to the post itself. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so it's really, I just want to kind of get your feet wet and understanding how simple it is to use this amazing, and I have to say amazing, I own basically every framework out there, but this is the most intuitive, the most user-friendly, and the simplest to comprehend and master. So I highly suggest if you don't have this framework, you need to get this framework. Now, my course comes with free hosting and the framework. So if you log on and get my course, you have access to this framework on my servers. This is not using it on your servers. This is using the framework on my servers. Okay, if you want to use it on your server, you're gonna to have to physically buy a copy of this, which I highly suggest you do. So that does it for this particular video. Again, I'm gonna have coupons for my course on udemy.com at the end of this video. Um, you can basically click the link in the bottom of the page and that's going to take you to this page right here. You can log on and get this full course. Now the cool thing about my course is unlike other courses at lynda.com and Total Training and every other place out there that teaches this stuff. The difference is this. First of all, my experience. You cannot compete with my experience. I have 25 years of doing this. I share with you the simple, simple, simple way to do it. Now that's just a, a good thing, but here's the true advantage of my courses. First of all, first of all, my courses are lifetime access, which means you don't have to keep uploading every week or re up, repaying every month, like lynda.com charges you per month, per year, et cetera, et cetera. So not only are my courses lifetime access, but I update my courses every two, three times a month. A few times a month, I add new videos to every single course I offer on udemy.com. So this is a total bargain. This would be a bargain here for 89 bucks, but $39 for lifetime access, and I continue to upgrade the course. Plus, you can do feedback. I'm here to help you every step of the way. So enjoy your day. Carpe diem. I will talk to you soon.